Science Central. Drop an egg in a frying pan and who doesn't think your brain on drugs? But in the decades since that image became an icon, science has tried to learn what really changes in an addicted brain. Animal studies have shown that these spiny branches coming off of brain cells are more abundant in addiction, so researchers thought they were causing addictive behaviors. Now new research challenges that notion. They may actually be a brain mechanism to compensate, to try to limit the, uh, the, the individual's sensitivity uh, to these sort of maladaptive changes that uh, lead to very long-lasting aspects of addiction. Christopher Cowan and colleagues found that in rodents, cocaine reduced the activity of a protein that limits the growth of these spiny brain connections. So he figured that increasing the activity of the protein would decrease both the growth of spines and the addictive behaviors. But writing in the journal Neuron, Cowan reported quite the opposite. Rather than uh, inhibiting the addiction-related behaviors, it actually enhanced those behaviors. He believes the growth of spines may actually be the brain's way to fight the long-term effects of addiction. He hopes further research into this protein could lead to new drugs that actively combat the problem. This gives us good therapy targets to be able to go in and try to manipulate the function of those proteins to try to antagonize or reverse uh, the process of addiction. Providing hope for addicts trying to avoid completely frying their brains. Brad Closa, Science Central News.